Hello everyone, it is me, Sparkling Shell, coming back with another video after a little bit of a break, but I'm back, so let's jump into it. This is my how to clean your makeup brushes, very affordable way, costs maybe $20 for all the products used. Here are my brushes after traveling and a couple days of buildup, so definitely want to get them clean. If you're going to be doing makeup on other people, you should clean them after every use. I'm going to start by telling you the products I'm using, which is coconut oil, naturally refined, the great value version. You can find this at Walmart. This refined version of coconut oil is just best because it's smooth, it melts away very quickly, and with the version coconut oil, it's just a little bit more gritty, so we want it to be smooth. Also, antibacterial soap to help remove the bacteria and germs and buildup and everything. Some good old H2O to help build a consistency for our mixture. A large bath towel that we will rest our brushes on. And some dish soap, so dishwashing liquid um, to help remove that buildup as well. Also a fork, which is going to serve as a whisk, or you can use a whisk if you fancy like that girl. A spoon to help get product like the coconut oil, and a bowl. I like to use just a regular old Tupperware bowl, something that I'm not probably gonna eat out of. I keep this bowl actually for my brushes and it's deep and helps me not create a mess. A mess. <laughs> One third a cup of antibacterial soap into the bowl first, a teaspoon of that dishwashing liquid, and then a tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm gonna add the water off camera and then I'm going to start whisking away with my fork mixing that away to just get a nice consistency we want it to be able you want to be able to drizzle if you need to so I'm going to keep mixing adding water if you need to I know that coconut oil is a little tough once you start whisking it'll create some heat and start to melt that coconut oil and you can be able to mix it easier I'm pressing my dirty brushes into the bowl and I'm just allowing that those bristles to soak in that product and I'm going to kind of move them around and let them get that product in there and I'm not being very vigorous with that I'm not being you know pressing it hard I'm just lightly doing that take my fingers and massage the product into the brush then I'm going to be rinsing it under the water and then pressing it out with my fingers so that I can remove the oils and the buildup and the dirt and I'm going to do this over and over again until that water goes from brown or whatever color to clear and I'm going to rub it on my hands on the palm of my hand just to see the color of the suds if there's some discoloration in there you know that you probably need to you know keep rinsing and moving that build up and you will need a small towel I like to wipe them off as I go and just take a look again once they've been a little bit dried I'm going to show you fairly close up this is me taking a brush across the palm of my hand and as you can see as I'm doing that numerous times the suds go from brown to clear now that has a few more suds in it so I'm going to rinse a little bit more but I just wanted you to see how that product really does get the dirt out of your brushes I'm going to do this over and over again for all of my brushes and making sure that that water goes from brown or pink or red to clear because we want the suds gone too and of course we cannot forget about our babies, our beauty blenders, and our, you know, pressed powder little sponges. Throw those inside the leftover mixture. And then we're gonna do the same thing, run them through the water, press them, let the, you know, color of the water go from brown to clear. With your beauty blenders, they're gonna take a little bit more work just because normally, I don't know about you guys, but I'll use my beauty blenders for my contour, for my highlight, for my powder. So there's a lot more buildup in there. So I'm gonna do that over and over again until that water goes from that dirty brown to that clear. Here are my brushes before again. Just wanted to show you guys the dramatic change with this very cheap and expensive Walmart mixture that you can get or HEB or Target or whatever. And there are my brushes after. Very nice and clean. Probably didn't know some of those brushes were <laughs> purple. But yeah, here you go, guys. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching as usual, and I'll see you next time.